My practice really specializes in hip and knee replacement and specifically in the knee for example we do partial knee replacements and total knee replacements and we utilize technologies such as uh, computer navigation and robotics to try and optimize our patient outcomes. On the hip replacement side I do direct anterior hip replacement which is a muscle sparing minimally invasive technique uh, that allows patients uh, what I would consider a significantly quicker recovery and probably less post-operative pain and a quicker return to functionality. I like to treat my patients like they were my family. You know, patients will often ask you, what would you do? And I tell patients, I'm recommending to you exactly what I would recommend for me or somebody in my family. Um, I, I think it's very important to be completely open and honest with patients about uh, treatment options, uh, and in particular, what risks and benefits of surgical intervention are. There's no such thing as risk-free surgery. Everything that we do in the operating room is incredibly safe, incredibly well thought out, but can potentially have a complication. And I think, you know, patients appreciate that when you discuss honestly with them what the pros and cons are and lay it out in a very concrete way. Technology has had a huge factor in where orthopedics has gone all the way along. Image-based technologies such as CT and MRI being used to create databases of bone shapes to be able to design implants. We're seeing technology influence how these metal shapes are being created, for example, for hip and for knee replacement. Technology-wise, I think uh, we're also going to see a lot more navigation-based tools and in particular robotics. And I'm a big believer in the capacity of robotics to help humans do a better job than they otherwise would. From the front desk to my MAs to my PA, you know, and, and then to the, the folks in the hospital that, that really provide the front line of patient care outside the operating room. They do a wonderful job. And, and I tell my patients all the time, this is, this is a team sport. You know, it's not about one individual. Having a dedicated team and having a good quality dedicated team is instrumental to doing what I do. And, and that's both on the outpatient and the inpatient side. Our office is very uh, tightly integrated with Memorial Hermann. Our surgical schedulers and, and, and all the support staff here in the outpatient clinic have very good connections uh, in the, on the inpatient side that allow uh, kind of a seamless transition for patient care from, from inpatient to outpatient. We have a very well integrated kind of patient care system here within our office. The, one of the kind of overarching themes that, that I get on my joint replacement patients is, is how debilitated they were. And, and it's, this is a post-operative realization that I see all the time. People come in and say, I, I had no idea how this was affecting my life. I had no idea that this was inhibiting my ability to enjoy things. I mean, it's only after you have something like hip or knee arthritis pain removed that you can really reflect on what that experience did to the quality of your life. And I hear it all the time from patients. You know, they start doing things that they hadn't done in a long time. They go out, they socialize, they bowl, they golf, they dance as you saw today. They're all of a sudden able to do things that they hadn't been able to do for in years and, and, and that really hadn't reached consciousness until after they had their joint replaced and then they, they have this aha moment. They go, wow, I was really a lot worse off than I thought. And just to see people being able to do the things that they want to do, I mean, to get patients that insist on hugging you, you know, and that, that sing your praises. I mean, it just, it brings, it brings me so much happiness. And, and again, and I've told you this before, I mean, I love what I do. I, I take tremendous uh, satisfaction of what I do for a living. And it's just, it's further, further enhanced and heightened by those patient experiences when they come back and they show me pictures of them doing things that they weren't able to do before. Um, and I get a lot of those. Um, it's just so satisfying, it's so deeply satisfying because you know you're doing something good for somebody, which makes you feel good.